student response systems? Yeah. Okay, so based on these, their student response systems, I keep mine on my desk because it's a majority of our, how we do our classroom. Because I ask questions all the time and have them do it that way because what I learned right off the bat was everybody's going to answer when I do this, where some people won't even think about the question if I didn't do the student response system where they had to put it in and give me the answer. Um, this is a Q6. No, it does not have a video on the Q6. It's not that high tech, but it is pretty high tech. You can text in answers and it gives you the question. And there's different levels of the student response systems. I'm not going to sell it to you. I'm just telling you what it is. I post the question. They click in their answer. I hit a button and a graph comes up to display it on the board. Who's, not who, but percentage of the class that got it right, percentage that got it wrong. And you can do different graphs. You can do the pie charts, the bars, and things like that. When in our class, when there's 100% that's gotten it right, we do a cheer. If they get it wrong, if you keep comparing that, well, you are going to cheer, I'd say teach, and they say whoop, whoop. And you're not going to see that out here, but that's how I handle when they get it wrong. And then I reteach whatever that skill was addressed, whatever that question was addressing. One of the things that I noticed right off the bat was I had a special needs little guy, and he never talked to me, and he definitely didn't come up to the board. And we were posing questions, and he was answering these questions, and I'm going, this kid's pretty intelligent. He, he knew a lot more than I thought he knew. We didn't get, I didn't start these up until April. I mean, he was passing his tests and stuff, but I always wondered, how is he passing his tests? I don't know what he knows. He won't talk to me. And um, he started answering them, and there's this thing you can do, you can do participant pick, and it flashes their name up on the board. Well, they think that they have just won a million dollars when the name comes up. <laughs> so, so one day, it flashes his name up on the board, and he knows that's him, and his big smile comes on his face. I'm like, Never <laughs> so, and I said, well, do you want to come up? Because I draw sticks. You know, when his name would come up on the sticks, I would say, do you want to answer? Do you want to come up? Because you have to work the problem and read the problem. So he walks up. Honestly, I thought I was going to cry. I was going to cry. He worked the problem. He read the problem. And then he passed the pen to the next kid. I was, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to the door. you got to come watch him. I was called his grandma. You know what he did today. So I was real excited about that. And it's that way continuously in my classroom with him. And, and there's other little special needs kids, but they, they weren't as wide as him, so it didn't surprise me so much. But they were answering where I didn't think they would be answering right. Because I didn't always call on them in class because I wasn't sure if they would answer. And now, every question, I know what they're answering. I mean, I know that that one that I think doesn't know much, so I don't call him on every question. I'm scared I'll embarrass him. He's answering the question and he's answering it right. I'm like, hey, good deal. How'd you know that? <laughs> and my class put some and said, hey, can you send us a cute picture? And I was like, sure. So my kids, I have some creative little girls. I was like, Miss Brother, you can tell them, oh, we're going to do this.